I don't have any special talents, just an ordinary desire to live like a human being. But what can be done? The one who loves must share the fate of the one he loves. Nobody should be whipped. Remember that, once and for all. Neither man nor animal can be influenced by anything but suggestion. Once upon a time there was a lady. She had no children, and no happiness either. And at first she cried for a long time, but then she became wicked. The whole horror of the situation is that he now has a human heart, not a dog's heart. And about the rottenest heart in all creation. You should never ask anyone for anything. Never. And especially from those who are more powerful than yourself. Eyes mean a lot. Like a barometer. They tell you everything they tell you who has a heart of stone who would poke the toe of his boot in your ribs as soon as look at you, and who's afraid of you. Everything will turn out right, the world is built on that. There's only one degree of freshness, the first, which makes it also the last. There is no greater misfortune in the world, than the loss of reason. What would your good do if evil didn't exist, and what would the earth look like if all the shadows disappeared? Kindness. The only possible method when dealing with a living creature. You'll get nowhere with an animal if you use terror, no matter what its level of development may be. Just like a murderer jumps of nowhere in an ally, love jumped out in front of us, and struck us both at once. Who told you that there is no true, faithful, eternal love in this world? May the liar's vile tongue be cut out. Clever people have been pointing out for a long time, that happiness is like good health, when it's there, you don't notice it. But when the years have passed, how you do remember happiness, oh, how you do remember it.
the most amazing combinations can result, if you shuffle the pack enough. People who think you can use terror are quite wrong. No, no, terror is useless, whatever its color, white, red or even brown. Terror completely paralyzes the nervous system. In order to be in control, you have to have a definite plan for at least a reasonable period of time. So how can man be in control, if he can't even draw up a plan for a ridiculously short period of time, say a thousand years, and is moreover unable to ensure his own safety for even the next day? Everything passes away suffering, pain, blood, hunger, pestilence. The sword will pass away too, but the stars will remain when the shadows of our presence and our deeds have vanished from the earth. There is no man who does not know that. Why, then, will we not turn our eyes toward the stars? Why?